big question at this hour here is, what happens next? Hannah? That is the big question, J.D. I'm so glad you brought up Bill Gates and what happened there 22 years ago. We mentioned Titans. I think people people know this, but again, just to review the context here, these are four men who run companies worth nearly $5 trillion combined, not to mention two of the world's richest men who were at this hearing or doing it virtually. Now, lawmakers collected hundreds of hours of interviews. They obtained more than a million documents on these companies leading to the testimony from to today. Now, some of those documents showed Facebook trying to neutralize a competitive threat with Instagram. That's the exchange we saw between Zuckerberg and Ladler that uh, JD mentioned. Also, Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, was questioned about his relationship with the Pentagon and the Chinese government. Republicans did paint the picture of an anti-conservative bias on these platforms. Let's talk about Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio. He is the top Republican on the Judiciary Committee. He spent his opening statements giving examples where he thought Republicans are being unfairly targeted, saying this, quote, I'll just cut to the chase. Big tech's out to get conservatives. Democrats, however, largely went after the tech CEOs for their use of data and anti-behavior towards other competitors in the marketplace. I have to say, J.D., as we're watching this, I feel a lot of these men, uh, these CEOs, handled themselves well. Most of them, when they were really pushed, did fall back to their talking points or their company's talking points. All right, taking a look at some other stories on our radar today. Oregon Governor Kate Brown says federal agents will start leaving Portland. They will reportedly begin a phased withdrawal from the city starting as early as tomorrow. Federal agents were deployed to the city to quell riots that have been ongoing in that city for weeks now. Demonstrators recently targeted a U.S. courthouse with fireworks and lasers, even mortars. Agents responded with tear gas and reportedly detained protesters in unmarked vehicles. In a separate, separate initiative being called Operation Legend. The Justice Department is sending nearly 100 federal agents to Cleveland, Detroit, and Milwaukee. Attorney General William Barr defended Operation Legend during his testimony on Capitol Hill just yesterday, saying the goal is to help cities get rid of violent crime. Just last week, Barr announced agents would be deployed to Chicago and Albuquerque under this initiative, J.D. In other news, nearly 12,000 U.S. troops are set to leave Germany. They will either relocate to Belgium and Italy or return home to the U.S. President Trump says the change is because Berlin has failed to meet the NATO target of spending 2% of GDP on defense. Congress is not happy with this decision. There's a major concern among Democrats and Republicans that it will weaken the U.S. military's position regarding Russia. There's also being viewed as a big blow to NATO. The president has long been a critic of that military alliance. Coming up, coronavirus deaths surpass a grim milestone yet again. We will ask an expert what that means for tackling the pandemic as we all move forward. Also, the former First Lady is now the host of a new podcast. Have you heard it? We are breaking down our favorite listens here at Cheddar. And a bit later, we are talking to Magic Johnson. Yeah, the former NBA player explains his new venture into the CBD industry. That's all ahead on the News Wrap.